Joe, if you felt so uncomfortable with your situation at Fox News, why stay there and draw a paycheck for eight years? You know, I, I tried to leave many, many times. I sent out dozens and dozens of resumes. I, I think I, CNN must have gotten 20 resumes from me. And the truth of the matter is I was blackballed within the industry that, that people hiring managers see Fox News on your resume and they say, this guy's a conservative, this guy's a nut, He's, we, we don't want him in our organization. I was, I was completely blackballed within the cable news industry. After okay, you say you don't news. want to reveal any more now, but I just want to get a sense because, you know, you acknowledge being a traitor and a weasel, so obviously you felt it was justified because you felt you had information to reveal, but it sounds like you just were uncomfortable with what you see as Fox's conservative leanings. That's, that's correct. I, th I think there is a lot of, as, as has obviously been stated repeatedly in, in the media, there's, there's a lot of right-wing bias at Fox. And, and the, the way they're slanting the news, I just couldn't take one more election cycle where they're on complete attack mode against the Democratic candidate. This, I, I was there for Kerry, I was there for Obama 08, and I, I just couldn't stand to be in that building for one more minute if they're going to be nonstop attacking the but Democratic candidate. But that would seem candidate. to suggest that you were an increasingly disgruntled employee who felt he should have gotten a promotion but didn't, and therefore uh, decided to take some revenge. Fair I'm, or unfair? I'm, I'm not a disgruntled employee. I'm, I'm, I, was, I was very gruntled. I enjoyed a lot of my time at, at, at Fox News. I, I did get, like I said in, on the Gawker piece, increasingly fed up with some of the things, especially on the Fox Nation, which I think is a vile race-baiting site that should not be associated with Fox News Channel. All right, that, that's a serious charge, race-baiting, but mostly you seem to point to what commenters say, some of it racist, but every news organization has a problem with commenters who, who post crude, vile, racist, or libelous material. The way the Fox Nation site works is they deliberately stir up these commenters. They, they, they take stories, they aggregate stories, which a lot of people do, Huffington Post, Drudge yeah, Report. And it's an opinion site. It is. It's it is an opinion News. site, but it, should, yeah. it, is, it is very closely associated with foxnews.com. No, don't pretend it's a separate site. It is, it is a Fox News owned and operated site. It's, it's operated, you know, from within the building. It's, it's, it's very close collaboration with, with everything at foxnews.com and with, with the network. It's sort of like the redheaded stepchild. They, they don't mention it a lot on air, but it's, it's, it's there. And it, and it does exist as a, as a race baiting site to sort of rile up conservatives and get them talking about talking about these issues. Look at any thread that mentions Michelle Obama or or any racial crime and the the comments on there are, are completely vile and disgusting. It's, it should not be associated with the Fox News Channel. Well, again, with any, anyone say, calling I, themselves a Fox News Channel. Again, I would say that uh, lots of news organizations have a problem with the tenor of commenters. But uh, Fox but News now, organizations don't solicit comments. The Fox Nation is soliciting those comments to the point where they put the number one commented article, you know, gets bumped to the top. And of course, the racial ones and uh, stories of that nature are the ones that always get bumped. Joe, to the top. now that you have uh, done this and uh, acted as a mole against Fox News, do you expect to get another job in cable news? <laughs> well, I've been passing my resume out around here. Uh, no, no takers yet. Um, <laughs> I, I think it's pretty safe to say my career in cable news is over.